fit in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. That's it. That giant sprawl. Los Santos. Oh! Get, get, get! Get, get, get! Alright. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I so, Michael. This is where dead men come back to life. I guess so. It's been nearly ten years. Which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Okay. He's taking a look at Los Santos, bitch. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then. Oh. Oh. We're near Floyd Caps. I'm seeing it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. You don't turn here. Now keep going. Man. Asshole missed the turn. Here Fuck you. Oh, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this Floyd fella. Oh well. Floyd, it's me, Wade. Who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your cousin. Fuck. He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you, Wade. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy was never approved. You gotta go. Both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Wait. I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. Alright. Ah. Boy's apartment can now be used as a safe house. Save your vehicles. Alright. Can I find out what the fuck I need to do? Oh, let's go to Michael's. Family reunion. Mystery gift. Perfect gift. How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh. 
Oh, I can now switch between Michael, Franklin, and all that other shit that I couldn't do beforehand. Let's go meet up with Mikey. I'm sure he's gonna be happy to see his old friend Trevor. Or not! Either way, I don't care. I'm having fun. And then I'll play as Michael later on. Cause I wanna upgrade my fucking uh... I wanna get my car back from the impound lot and then I wanna upgrade it. Make it bulletproof, bullet resistant, bullet badass. Oh! Oh no! You dead bitch. Thanks for the gun. Thanks for the 500 bucks. Might as well give it back. That means shit to me. Bitch, where you at? Oh, you fat, ugly whore. Suffering from a momentary attack of goodwill. Oh, you are such a sweetheart. I'm not even from here. Thanks so much. Now I gotta scrape this guy off my fucking front license plate. Later, bitch. Thanks for breaking my light, asshole. Chains of intimacy by Terry Bolin. You always criticize guys for looking at porno. This is different. This is erotic literature. Erotic. A rich fucking pervert. What the fuck is this shit? Trevor's not tired of eating roadkill. Let's go see my good buddy Michael. Michael. Oh. Bitch, you're in the way. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this Graham? Huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? I must stay. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? I'm 
She's, a. Uh, she's, a. Uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Oh, she might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! Okay, this is about to go terribly, terribly, terribly bad. Probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like this. You got blood under your nails and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores, the Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but. Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends, we got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. Loving its whimsical charm. All right. The maze bank. Let's go in. Despite some parents voicing Whatever. Let's go see all the dead guys soon to be. Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? <laughs> all right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood. Season Canada. fucking 14. It's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music! What your daddy's gave you, honey. Ooh, it does. Stuff a 20 in this. Oh! <laughs> Fucking something about this? Uh, that's enough. Oh! Oh! I said that's enough! Oh, oh, oh. 
Hey, hey, I got security. Security! What'd you fucking Hold say?